Yeah, I guess for uh, stability uh, purposes or whatever, I should be using the overhead thing of a jig, but uh, for close up stuff, I just, yeah, I don't want to. Once it, you know what, once I get the, um, get everything set up properly for the, um, my war table, that'll be great. But, anyways, uh, here's, and this is not to show an attack. That's to show that uh, this guy here is in a heck of a lot of trouble. A heck of a lot of trouble. I'll show it to you from the um, the other side because it's probably a bit easier for me to walk around, whatever. But I'll give you an idea of what's going on from the, uh, the Russian side. So all this bit over here has all been done. So um, they're all done. I can't move. I can't do any of the moves anymore and that type of stuff. So... Uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, and yeah, like I've mentioned before, a ton of this stuff is super duper paper thin, but that's just the way it goes. Also, uh, yeah, and some more, uh, I've been moving a lot of the people's militia like there's no tomorrow. Uh, and it's funky to think, to see that, that actually, that this one hex here is clear. If you could figure out a way of getting someone there to entrain, I don't know, but that's it. You can't go anywhere. It's just weird because that's the way I, I uh, one group go there and another group go there. It's just kind of neat. I was like, <laughs> it's one hexy cake. But, you know, I also, in a weird way, I like, like here, over here, like, look at this, a couple of hexes, a single track. I just like this, even though it's not showing you on this scale, it, it's saying, hey, there's something up here. I, I like it. Um, so what also I did, I also railed uh, both uh, Warsaw People's Militia. They're now in Radom. Over there, because I know there's going to be a whole lot of uh, you know bad stuff going on in a bit, but um, uh, this is okay. All I gotta say, man, is well. Oh, you'll see in a sec. Jesus. Yeah, I'll get the book out. Yeah, I've been. Um, I'm still gonna stick with it for a little while until obviously I don't want to stick with it. But um, yeah, I've been listening to a lot of instrumental westerny type music and. Uh, I don't know why it just seems kind of fitting in a weird way right now um yeah i'm just listening to like you know like um i don't know uh what would you call it uh like slow drawn out steel guitar and like slow you know harmonica droning away or whatever that type of stuff i don't know it's just a weird vibe i've been getting lately maybe it's because i know there's about a build up there's going to be just a heck of a lot of stuff i don't know it's just i just keep getting scenes of People polishing their pistols and, um, you know, dusting off their boot. I don't know. Just all that type of stuff. Just whatever. And it, the Eastern Front, I just so freaking open at the moment anyways. So number 28 here is in a whole lot of trouble, as you can see. A whole lot of trouble. I can't get anybody over there in time. And um, I am also terrified. I don't want to give up these, uh, you know, two turns away from entrenchment. Uh, these guys right here. Um, and I, sure, I can start jiggling a few troops over here to kind of, like, open up me a potential, like, move these guys back here and then, uh, uh, uh supply. I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, I'm like, well played, you piece of shit, Germany. Uh, sorry, Germany, well played. Um, ah, oh, damn it. It's just, ah, uh, yet again, I'm one hex off. Um, I, I would need seven hexes to get over here to open, uh, to pop into a, um, uh, to help with the line of, um, uh, supply and all that stuff so this person wouldn't be uh, in deep trouble with which, which they are i mean sure i can move them back one turn like for one hex over kind of thing i can't get them over here. well i can put them over there what's i got I'm, there's you know lord of mercy yeah i well i have to move them back otherwise they're screwed if i move let's say if i move them here then the germans just move across here and, and i'm in trouble again and remember i was saying anything past here is officially not um, really part of the uh, the scenario. Let's just add it on. I just wanted, you know, for context to see what was going on. Um, so the, who's in a whole lot of trouble there? Well, these guys. And um, so it's the 40th Infantry Division, the 54th Reserve Infantry Division, the 28th Infantry Division. And uh, it's just five turns. I should be uh, putting it back to four here. Um and yeah, you're, and yeah, you're like, okay, well, shouldn't you be able to know the strength points uh, sitting there? No, I didn't record them. So if I, like I said before, uh, the way I'm playing it, if I'm not stupid, uh, well, 
trust me, I am stupid enough. <laughs> that's a given. <laughs> but I mean, if I'm not smart enough for me to write them down, and that's all it does, it just takes a little bit of whatever. Yeah, later on, I'm going to do some kind of role playing thing. Like, for example, over here, um, there's been no movement or, or no whatever for so flip freaking long. When I did decide it was like a potential attack, I was like, no, they, you know, I gave them, I can't remember, it was something like a 80% chance they would have known uh, what the, you know, if there was any movement away from the strength points. There wasn't anyway, so, but you know the way, you know, like late at night, let's sneak some people away and, or bring some people in, that type of stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's my, ba that's my main thing right now, but, uh, Oh, I was so relaxed and so mellow, even with the whatever. I was just about to go up. Well, I will. I'll go upstairs and do a bit of cross stitch because I really need to, like, simmer down kind of thing. Oh, I don't want to, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, uh, I'll, I, yeah, forget it. I'll talk about it later. Okay, see ya.